When should a fungicide be flown onto those beans? It's a question you may be asking this summer after looking at your lush fields. Brant technical agronomist Ed Corrigan says this year's crop is roaring along, so you need to take some time to scout those fields and pick just the right time to go. This one's been flowering for three to four weeks, and it's actually given us pods already down here at the bottom. So. One of the guidelines that we've used in the past is to really look at the pod growth. And if we've got a pod that is in this three eighths of an inch long and it's within the top three to fourth axle down, we would start thinking about fungicide application. But in a year like this, we need to really reschedule how we think about it because if we had apply a fungicide to this plant, <clears throat> a lot of it's gonna go to vegetative growth and not be able to utilize that additional sunshine and, and value that we get out of a fungicide to put into the pods. So we're going to start thinking about letting this plant go another two to three weeks and we'll start to see these pods forming up here in, an, in the top three to four axles which will actually be farther along and when we start to feel a little bean about three to four uh, axles down that's when the proper timing because that bean has made up its mind it's not going to grow a lot more vegetatively it's going to grow and put a lot of the nutrition from the sunshine in the in the soil into the pot and that's where we get yield so you won't feel just the pod ed says you're going to feel the bean in that pod then that's the right time to go with your fungicide mix with boron to help improve yields Ed says it's an easy mix along with other important applications. Insecticide always is of value because you'll create a really lush plant and it'll draw in the bugs. So we really need to focus on using an insecticide in there. And so the Brandt Smart BMO is one of the top products to move that nutrition, that boron, to the growing point and utilize that nitrogen in the plant. Ed Corrigan, technical agronomist with Brandt. Stay tuned for more crop updates from Ed and the other experts at Brandt.